thanks to Alexander Hislop. Many Christians as well as non-Christians today believe that the Egyptian Isis is another form of the water nymph queen Semiramis of ancient Assyria. In fact, Semiramis was sent by Lucifer from his abyss who befriended Noah's great-grandson King Nimrod and became his queen. Soon after that, she murdered him and took over his throne. The confusion that Alexander Hislop faced here was that both Semiramis as well as the Egyptian Isis were depicted along with their young sons. So he put one and one together and said that these duos gotta be the same. Furthermore, he also thought that Devaki and Krishna of India were also another form of Semiramis and Tammuz even though they were of a much later period. The problem here is the lack of knowledge of ancient history. Now, let me explain. As I mentioned before, Queen Semiramis was not human at all. And she was from the Lucifer's Abyss. She was also known as Inanna or Ishtar in Near Eastern mythology. After the death of Nimrod, she had an illegitimate son named Tammuz. She deceived her subjects by saying that Nimrod had ascended to heaven and become the sun god and he impregnated her through his race. And so Tammuz was the seed of the woman that God had promised in the Garden of Eden that would crush the devil's head one day. God is not mocked, friends. Tammuz died at the age of 40 in a hunting accident, goaded by a wild boar. Well, in contrast to all this, Isis was a perfect human being like us, and she was the daughter of Ham and Rhea, who were known as Kamdev and Rati Devi in Indian mythology. Since Isis had lost her husband, she was often depicted with her son Horus, the royal heir to the throne, which had a resemblance with Semiramis and Tammuz that confused Alexander Hislop, as we saw before. Now, historian Barossus makes a statement connecting specifically Semiramis and Isis. He says that Isis was born 302 years after Noah's flood when Semiramis started her rule. The flood occurred in the year 3298 BC. So Isis must have been born in the year 2996 BC and she was a little girl when Semiramis was ruling. I guess this makes it clear that Semiramis and Isis are two different entities altogether. Thanks for watching.